when I so when I press play, you're going to see when I right click, you'll see this player follow camera turns off. And because it turns off, it goes to the very next um, uh, most important priority. Well, what happens if I set, let's say, this virtual camera to 11 and then I enable it inside my game? Well, now I'm going to that camera. Can I still control my player? Absolutely. Can I still walk around? Can I still shoot? Can I do all that stuff? Yes. But because this camera has taken priority, everything else takes a back seat. And so you guys can probably see the logic here of how I can make this camera system work. It's not that complicated. Um, all I need to do is make sure that these are set to 11. These are this blended camera list is set to 11 right? These cameras are set to 11 because these are going to be higher. And then when I click on my camera system start, wherever that would be, I just need a routine or an, a system that says if this int is at zero, this first one is turned on. If this int is at one, this second one is turned on. If this int is at two, this third one is turned on. And then after X amount, when I click it again, it turns off all of them and then I exit the system. 